Welcome to this week's Lick of the Week. Um, we're going to do a little bit on Hollywood Fats today. Uh, Hollywood Fats is a, a, a blues guitarist, a West Coast blues player. Um, died in the, the mid-80s, about 1986. Uh, had a real short career. There's only one album of his music that I'm, I'm aware of, like actual studio album. Um, and a lot of the players that have come through here for our blues casts, um, Tom Harkinwriter's show that we, we broadcast out of here, have cited him as an influence. So I've been kind of interested in checking him out. And he's, he's a pretty cool jump blues player. There's a lot of, a lot of neat stuff to find there. And I was uh, working with a student yesterday and we came across this little gem. It's a you know, it's cool because it works with the um, the G6 up to down six chord lesson we did, um, but it's it's got some neat chromaticism to it. Um, so that's going to be our, our lick of the dam to show you. I'm going to uh, re, uh, relate it to the the other lesson that we did, uh, to kind of see how you get some chromaticism and a little bit of where the the lick doubles over itself over the bar. One other thing about this lesson is that on the, the page on my website, there's uh, uh, going to be a, a YouTube video of the original recording of this, so you can kind of hear how he uses it in context. Um, I believe it's in about 2 minutes and 40 seconds or so into it. Um, but uh, you can actually hear the, the real lick in there. Um, and I'm also going to have in the notation a couple different variations on the lick. Uh, he plays it not just one way, but he actually does play it uh, a couple different ways over the course of this, this solo. Uh, I'm just giving you one uh, kind of like the big longest uh, version of it. I'm going to show you with both hands real quick what the lick looks like um, up to tempo and then we're going to go back and break it down. So that's the left hand there over the G. All right, and then the right hand, I'm going to start with an up pick, and I'm going to alternate pick as much as possible. Um, am I sure this is how he did it? No, not really. Um, but to me, it, it's kind of a great way to get you to uh, sit in the pocket or play in the pocket with this. So we start on the up pick, so we're going one, and two, and three, and four, and... I see what I'm and for playing longer phrases like this uh, actually keeping the alternation really helps All right. so as far as the lick itself we're gonna start on the on the fifth fret on the fourth string that's our root and if you remember from the up the down six chord uh, lesson that we did a few weeks ago uh, we've got our root third, fifth, sixth root, all in that position. Uh, I won't go through the whole thing very slowly, but you can always go back to that lesson if, you, if you'd like to. Um, but what we're going to do is we're starting on the root. Now I'm reaching back with my first finger on the third string, third fret. And this is the minor third of the chord. And I'm sliding into the major third. And this is very much from that lesson that we did you know, last week or two weeks ago. All right, so we've got root, minor third, major third, and then we're going to go up to the fifth chromatically, which means one note at a time. So on that string, fifth fret, sixth fret, seventh fret. So we've got this big long row. We'll do that twice, and then we'd start over and we'll root, minor third, third. Um, so we do that twice, then we go root on the 5th fret on the 4th string, and then 2nd fret on the 4th string, which is actually the 6th. Once again, reinforcing the whole idea that we use that 6th chord a lot for a lot of this jump blues stuff. Alright, so if I go through that much of the lick so far, we've got 5 on the 4th string, and then on the 3rd string we go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then do it all again. And then the third time, we just go root, minor third, major third, back to the root on the fourth string, and then the sixth, or the, the second fret on the fourth string. So we got... And the only other...
other part left for this is where we repeat that last bit to end it. So we're going to take that, that uh, root, minor third, major third, and repeat it again. And then you're going to go um, fifth fret on the fourth string, fifth fret on the fifth string. So we're going, and that's the root and the fifth. And then your uh, second fret on the fourth string, which is the sixth degree of the scale, and then up to the minor seventh on the on the third fret. So we got. And if you'll notice, when I go from the the two notes on the uh, fifth fret on the fourth and fifth strings, I'll roll that joint right there. All right, and that keeps it all from ringing together. But then also, I don't have to do some sort of weird fingering worm, you know. So that works. So we have the whole thing. I'll do it real slow. And there are places, like in the song, even before he plays that full lick, where he does this... Um, he does it kind of just one time on the chromatic bit, you know. Um, you know, I like I kind of like playing that idea, going back down to the third and then doing this this kind of deal. That's all going to be notated um, in the in the lesson. I'm going to have a couple variations on this, um, but the basic idea is what I just showed you. And we're in the key of G. 